seafloor spreading has a lot to do with the mantle. And so I thought while you were learning about the mantle, this was the perfect time to learn about seafloor spreading. The definition of seafloor spreading is a process in which new ocean floor is created as molten material from the earth's mantle rises in margins between the plates or ridges and spreads out. So notice that we have um, the seafloor spreading occurring right here, which has a mid-Atlantic ridge. The mid-Atlantic ridge is a huge chain of mountains, and in the middle of these mountains is this magma actually comes up and spreads out, creating this new ocean floor. And on the next slide, you'll see how um, seafloor spreading actually creates new oceanic floor. Seafloor spreading is the process where new oceanic crust is created. These occur at mid-ocean ridges. So hot mantle rises up. This melting forms under the lithosphere, which is that hard rocky crust, okay, that is part of the upper mantle. All right, magma from the asthenosphere rises into this magma chamber that's right in that crust, all right, and is injected as dikes forming new crust. So it's magma is going to come up here and it's going to form this new crust as these plates, oceanic and lithospheric plates, move away from each other. So the lava, which is magma that comes to the surface, erupts onto the ocean floor adding to this new crust. And then the plates move apart, cool and thicken. So now let's watch this animation please. So the lithospheric plates move apart due to the convection in the mantle. The convection in the mantle is actually where the asthenosphere is moving. And in this case, the asthenosphere on the left is moving uh, westward in a circular motion. And the asthenosphere on the right is moving eastward in a circular motion. And that's so the lithospheric plates and the crust can move to the right. And it moves to the left so that the lithospheric and crustal plates can move to the left. So now this hot rock known as magma migrates upward, all right? And so the magma forms and starts to rise, which we see here, all right? And notice the magma rises through the crust, all right? And up at the top, it's become la lava, and it creates this new crust along this mid-ocean ridge. So lava erupting on the ocean floor as the plates move apart. So if the plates aren't moving apart, that lava is not going to form at this mid-ocean ridge. And what's really cool is these plates move apart, and they move apart at 3 to 10 centimeters a year. So in this animation, it kind of looks like this... Uh, new oceanic crust, also known as seafloor spreading, occurs very quickly, but really three centimeters a year is about it, which ends up being about two and a half inches a year, which is very, very little. But we're creating at least two and a half inches, three to 10 centimeters of new crust every single year. And it's all because of this mid-ocean ridge is allowing the magma and then the lava to make this new crust. Be ready to explain with me and your group how seafloor spreading occurs, what causes it to occur, and why is it so important that we have to learn about it. I can't wait to speak with you.